Hey guys, it's WCG27 here, and today, today, today I'm bringing back a brand new story, so, uh, if you enjoy, please leave a like, and if you aren't subscribed, then subscribe, so yeah, let's get right into it. So this story takes place when I was either 12 or 11, I don't remember which age I was, I'm thinking I was 12, maybe? Anyways, there's this, like, amusement park that, uh, it's really the only amusement park around. If anybody, like, it's, it has, like, a bunch of roller coasters and stuff. And if anybody wants to go ride roller coasters, this is really the only place to go. At that time, my school had, like, a thing where, like, you could buy tickets to go there in the summer, like, really cheap. So, basically, on, like, one day during the summer, everybody would be going because the tickets were all for the same day. So, it was called, like, whatever our school district's name was, day. And then everybody from our school district that bought the tickets would pretty much go. And of course, me and my friends would always go to it because why not? It's a bunch of roller coasters and friends and stuff and hanging out, and it was really fun. Anyways, th this year, this was one of the years that I didn't go with my friends. I went with, uh, I bought the tickets, and then I, like, took somebody from a different school district, which was, like, another really good friend of mine. I'm pretty sure I was, like, mad at my friends for something that year, and that's why I did that, but... Like, everybody pretty much went that I, like, that was at my school and stuff. So, there were a lot of people that I knew that I saw. But, of course, like, my friend, since he was from a different school district, I didn't want to, like, make him feel awkward and just, like, start talking to everybody else and start hanging out with everybody else. So, we were just kind of doing our own thing. Probably, like, 35 minutes into it, like, we noticed, like, we were riding, like, everything kind of in order, really. And we noticed that, like, this group of girls that I, that went to my school, but I didn't really, like, know them. They were, like, f kind of following us, but not really. And my friend, like, about 35 minutes into it was just like, hey, haven't they been, like, following us for, like, the last 30 minutes? And I was like, yeah, I guess they have, because I didn't really think about it. But if you kind of looked at it, yes, they were. And it was a total of a group. It was a group of five girls. And there were three of them that I didn't talk to, one that I kind of talked to, and then one that I actually did talk to and, like, knew. We rode probably about, like, four rides, me and my friend, and they were, like, following us the entire time. And whenever we got in line for the fifth ride, they were behind us in line. So the one girl started talking to me that I knew, and she was like, we were just talking about stuff, whatever. And then she uh, said, like, she got real close, and she was like, hey, my one friend really likes your friend. And whenever I said which one, she was, she pointed to the one that I didn't talk to, like, at all. Like, I had no idea who she was, really. And then I was like, oh, I see, I see. And then I was like, okay, I'll go ask my friend if he likes her. Because that's all I remember, like, people would do whenever you were, like, little, like, somebody likes somebody. They were like, hey, he likes you. Oh, yeah, she likes him. And then, like, they know each other for an hour and then they're dating. Anyways, I go ask my friend. I'm like, dude, that girl over there, apparently she likes you and... He wasn't, like, really one that would just, like, go up to girls and date them. So he was like, nah, I'm not going to date her. I'm like, yeah, I mean, I don't really know who she is, so I can't really say anything, but I don't blame you. And then, like, at that point, we got onto the ride. We rode it, and then after the ride, I was like, yeah, he doesn't really like her. She was like, oh, really? Come on, just give her a chance. I'm like, uh... He has a girlfriend, and I, like, made up something so that they would like, quit bothering us. And they followed us on to a few more rides, and then after, like, probably two or three more rides, they kind of just, like, they they got, they stopped following us. Because within those two to three rides, like, I saw some other friends that I knew, and, like, we were all talking and just having a good time riding rides and just talking, hanging out. After those two to three rides, me and my friends said, well, we're pretty hungry, let's go get food. So we went and got food, and we were sitting down at this table, and we noticed that they were, like, watching us from, like, another eating place. <laughs> so it was kind of weird, and we could just see them, like, looking at us and, like, whispering to each other. Well, not whispering, but they were, like, talking about us. It, it was, like, I was just like, yeah, that's really weird. I don't talk, I only talked to, the like, two of them. I don't know what the heck they're doing. But anyways, long story short, so the one girl that I knew, like, we saw that they were talking to us, and I was just kind of, like, looking at them weirdly, and the one girl that I knew came over to us, and she's like, I don't know, my friend's pretty mad. I'm like, why? And, and she's like, well, your friend doesn't like her, and sh she really likes him. And I was like, oh, he has a girlfriend, sorry. I mean, he didn't have a girlfriend, but I was just saying that. 
And she was like, I don't know. She's pretty mad. And at that point, I was just like, what What do you want me to do? I, I He has a girlfriend. What do you expect him to do to break up with his girlfriend right now and go out with her? She was like, yeah, basically. I'm like, uh, sorry. Anyways, one girl would get up and start walking towards us. And then she would turn around. And then another girl would get, like, another girl would get up and start walking towards us. And then she would turn around. Just like, I, what, what I mean by turn around is like, they would start walking towards us, turn around, and then go back over to their friends. Just like... Because they, like, they were going to come up and say something, and then they were, like, too scared, and then they went back to their f- seat. And then, finally, the, the girl that, like, my friend got up, and she started walking towards us, and she didn't turn around. She just kept walking towards us. She gets to the table, puts her hands down on the table, and she looks at my friend, and then she looks at me. And I had sunglasses at the time, and she looks at me, and she says, give me your sunglasses. Like, real intimidating. I was like, uh, for what? And she's like, just give me them. Then I said, no, I'm not going to give you my sunglasses. She's like, give me your sunglasses, like in a real angry, intimidating manner. And I was just like, no, I'm not going to give you my sunglasses. Why do you want my sunglasses? And then like at the restaurants, you know, they have like the plastic forks, plastic spoons, and the plastic knives. She had a plastic knife in her pocket. And for some reason, 12 year old little me was afraid of that. She pulls out this plastic knife points it at me like real angry she says give me these sunglasses and like acts like she's gonna shank me with it and i'm like geez 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 okay here you go don't hurt me ah because 12 year old little me was afraid of the plastic knife now if somebody did that to me today i'll just be like dude that doesn't scare me at all that's a plastic knife you're not gonna hurt me but i guess i didn't know my terminology on plastic knives back then so She just takes my sunglasses and turns around and starts walking back to the table. And I just look at my friend. I'm like, what the heck just happened? Dude, she is psycho. (laughs) And me and my friend are just like in shock of what just happened because she just like almost mugged me for my sunglasses. And I still don't to this day don't know why she did it. I guess she was mad at my friend for not liking her. So she took my sunglasses. I don't know. Anyways, of course, I saw her at school like the entire next year and... Really, she never said a word to me that entire year. She just looked at me, like, awkwardly. And I I don't know. I honestly don't know what was wrong with her. Yeah, but that's the time I got shanked for my sunglasses. She didn't actually shank me, but she got real close to me with a knife, a plastic knife, and told me to give her my sunglasses. So, okay. Anyways, that's just a weird story that happened to me. I, I don't know. I felt like sharing it. And I hope you enjoyed it. Good time making the video. Hope you had a good time watching. As always, leave a like, subscribe, and comment what I should do next, guys. I'll see you in the next episode, and goodbye.